This is the Ever and Wall Relay Switch, a new smart device that can take your existing light switches, light bulbs, and light fixtures and make them smart enabled. In this video, I'm going to test it out to see how it works and let you know what my thoughts are on it. Let's open it up first. So my first question when I got this Ever device is how is it different from a normal smart light switch? The way that this is different is that it adds basically the same functionality as a smart light switch would, but it keeps your existing light switches in place. So you don't have to change the actual light switches. You're not gonna have to worry about the fact that your smart light switch doesn't match with the other ones in your house that aren't smart. And most importantly, your existing light switch can still be used as usual. So if there's anyone in your house that isn't really keen on all the smart devices or wanting a smart home, you can still use the regular light switch on or off as intended and still have the ability to turn the light on or off using your smartphone or automations. Installing this relay was actually very simple for me. So firstly, there is no neutral wire required. So the age of your home is not gonna play any difference as to whether or not you can use this device. Basically, all that you have to do is unplug the wires that are going to your light fixture or your light switch and plug them into the smart relay device. From there, there will be wires in the relay device that you plug back into your light fixture or to your light switch. Basically, you're taking the wiring from the existing hardware, putting it into the relay, and then plugging that relay into where the wiring was on the existing hardware prior. If that sounds confusing, Ever has very detailed instructions. I will link the video and the user manual in the description below if you need to reference it. But after you get those installed, they just basically fit right on the inside of the junction box. And just to clarify, this relay setup actually consists of two separate devices. There's a smart relay, which is gonna be installed to your light fixture. And there's a smart switch, which is the smaller one, and that goes with your actual light switch. Now the smart switch, the smaller device, is optional. You do not have to include that in order for this device to work. If you install the relay up on the light fixture by itself, as long as your light switch is turned on, you will have the ability to control your light fixture via Wi-Fi. However, I definitely do recommend installing that smart switch as well because that assures that you can control your light whether or not the switch is turned on. This also assures that even if there's a Wi-Fi outage, you can still manually control your light switch. Using and controlling your in-wall relay is extremely simple, especially because this is compatible with HomeKit. So basically all that you need to do is open up the Home app on your iPhone, add a new device, and scan the QR code that's in the user manual that comes in the box. From there, it'll automatically connect to the device, and then you can control it via a simple on or off toggle in your Home app. Outside of that, you can also download the dedicated Ever app. This gives you the same functionality to turn it on or off, but also has some of the more intricate details like model number, serial number, and the firmware that your device is on. The Ever app is nice because it connects to your devices automatically. You don't have to go through any setup process. It basically just detects them as you open the app and gives you all the information that you need. Now, obviously, being that this is a smart device, you don't only have the ability to turn it on or off manually. You can also set your light to turn on or off during a certain schedule or be triggered by certain automations. That can all be accomplished through the Home app. And just so you know, this relay does not have a minimum workload requirement which if you don't know what that means, like I didn't know what it meant, basically that just means that your lights are not going to flicker when you install this. Okay, so with that all being said, as with anything, there are some downsides to this product, so let's talk about those. So as you saw, I didn't really run into any issues when using this relay, and I was pretty impressed by it. Really the only things I could come up with that were a downside to this product were firstly that it is a little bit more of an installation than adding something like a smart bulb or even a smart switch switch. So with this one, just keep in mind that you will have to do an install not only on the light switch, but also on the light fixture itself if you plan on using both of the devices. Other than that, the only other downside I could really think of is that the relay does only work on one light fixture. So if you have one light switch that controls multiple light bulbs or light fixtures, which I'd say is fairly common, you're gonna have to get as many relays as there are light fixtures. So if you have a setup like I do here in my kitchen with two pendant lights that's controlled by one switch, you're gonna have to purchase two separate relays and install them onto each respective light fixture in order for them to both work 
via the one switch. Now, to be honest with you, at least in my opinion, these aren't the biggest downsides I've ever seen on a product. These are a little bit more nitpicky, but I just wanted to be perfectly transparent with you. Okay, so overall, what are my thoughts on this device? To be honest with you, I was actually very surprised by this one because I very much enjoyed installing it and using it. I usually don't like doing electrical work, but for whatever reason, I was able to get this to work and they made it very simple, especially because those little devices are so small. It's very easy to fit them in your junction box and not have to worry about it. It was very nice to be able to add this to HomeKit to control it with my iPhone. And I love the fact that I can have the physical switch turned off, but still turn the light on using my phone. And by the way, you do not have to use this on just one fixture at a time. You can set it up really however you'd like to. Two, three, or even up to four fixtures can be controlled using this device, as long as you have the appropriate amount of relays. So that being said, for $49, I absolutely would recommend this in-wall relay. It's definitely different than most traditional smart switches. And to be honest with you, I really like the fact that once it's installed, no one will have any idea that it's there. If you do want to support a startup company, or if you're interested in checking this product out for yourself, check my link in the description to take a look at it. Thank you again to Ever for sponsoring this video. And before you leave, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I've got lots more tech content coming up. And if you did enjoy this video, I'm sure you'll love this one too. Thank you so much for watching.